Today marks 20 years since the bungled Royal Canberra Hospital implosion which claimed the life of 12-year-old Katie Bender. Decades on, the tragedy has had a lasting effect on the Canberra community. An event billed as a spectacle for all the family goes horribly wrong. In 1997, more than 100,000 people gathered to watch the implosion. But the Royal Canberra Hospital exploded, embedding shrapnel in cars and trees. 12-year-old Katie Bender was struck by a piece of steel and killed instantly. Today, marking the 20th anniversary of the incident, those who were there are still affected by the tragedy. Essan and his family were just 50 metres from where Katie stood that day. This is one of the more poignant sort of moments of my life here and... I think today's, you know, it, it, it was uh, my duty in, in a way to come and pay my respects. The coronial inquest into Katie's death was damning of the ACT government's promotion of the event. Implosions in the capital have since been carried out in secret. Decades on, those who remember Katie's short life hope the lessons from that day will never be forgotten. Harry Frost, Nine News.